Hi everyone, it's Emmy, your registered dietitian at East Coast Bariatrics. Tonight, the recipe I'm making does not include any meat um, or fish, and the main protein will be black beans and cheese. So if you're looking for some plant-based recipes, maybe this will be for you. So let me run through the ingredients that I'll be using. The first one is acorn squash. You have to cut it in half, which is probably the hardest part of this whole recipe. Um, you can tell mine aren't very even, but cut them in half. And then you scoop out the insides, which is really easy. Um, you just use a spoon and scoop it out. So I have acorn squash, and that's what I'm going to put the filling in. Um, I also have black beans, and it called for a half cup, so I have that ready. A quarter cup of corn. I just use canned corn and I also just use canned black beans. A cup of shredded cheddar. I already had that at home. And then one small tomato. I had a big tomato, so I just cut up half of it and it came out to be about two thirds cup. And then of course, salt, pepper, um, chili powder, and paprika. So that's everything I'm gonna be using. So the first thing I'm gonna do is put these acorn squash halves face down in the air fryer. And I already sprayed my air fryer just to grease it a little bit. And you are going to air fry that for 10 minutes at 370 degrees. All right, now for the easy part, it's just gonna be mixing up all these ingredients. So, just make sure I'm doing this right. All right, so I'm gonna dump the tomato in. I have my mixing bowl. Then beans, so I have half cup, and then corn. This could just be a good mixture to eat without the squash if you don't like squash. And then I have to measure out some spices, which normally I wouldn't measure spices, but since I'm using chili powder, I don't want to use too much. So for the chili powder, it says a half teaspoon. All right. I'm just gonna sprinkle that in there. And then how much for the, that was actually the paprika, which it's okay. It said a half teaspoon of paprika and then a half teaspoon of the chili powder. Got that in there, and then it says for salt, how much salt? Just a quarter teaspoon. You can smell that chili powder. All right. Okay. Sprinkle that in. And then I'm just going to shake some pepper on it. It did not say how much pepper. All right, so that again was my tomato black beans, corn, I have my spices, and then about half of the cheddar, so about a half cup. All right. And the rest of the cheese you are going to save to top um, the acorn squash cast with. So I'm just going to mix this up. It actually smells pretty good just what it's looking like. Somewhat colorful, you got the black beans, the red from the tomato, yellow from the corn. So some of you may be thinking, well, I thought we couldn't have beans or I thought we couldn't have squash. So we really are pushing more high protein sources right after surgery and always, but six months after surgery, would you say you can introduce beans and starchy vegetables? So black beans, corn, and the acorn squash would all be appropriate to try at six months. And wait a little longer if you feel like you need to. So while this may not be the highest protein recipe, it's still healthy, nutritious, getting lots of vitamins, minerals, you are getting some protein, and yes, you are getting some carbs. You're also getting fiber, which is a good thing too. So really, that's it. Um, 
once these acorn squash halves are cooked for about 10 minutes, um, I'm going to then spray them, do a little bit of salt and pepper, put them back in the air fryer, and then I'm going to top it with this mixture.